Hello people that live on YouTube, this is Bigger, and welcome to the Juice of God's Wrath. Anyway guys, you don't even want to know how many times it took me to do the intro, but yeah, now that the intro is done, let's just get to the game, shall we? First of all, there ain't a whole lot to know about this game, it's kind of one of them games, and it's kind of like a moral simulator, I guess is what I'm trying to go for here. And in this game, what you really gotta do is you gotta decide who lives, who dies, and who do you like turn into a gooey mess for a god to drink i guess or something like that at least that's what i'm getting from it and well guys let's just start the game up the more the merrier doesn't apply when there are this many people this factory is taking a weight off the planet's shoulders Oh, so is this like an overpopulation thing and that's why we're killing people for the god that's just weird we juice the people who don't contribute to society, to put it simply. Or rather, you do. Oh cool, so this is like a solvent greenest people kind of game. Drink up. Well, what if I don't want to drink? What, what if the whole reason why I'm working here is so that I can get better food while everyone else in the real world has to like drink their friends? <laughs> I mean, that that's one reason why I'd join a sick job like this, you know? But yeah, guys, how about we just read this thing on this guy's chest? Um, I have a wife and I'm hard-minded. Um, I don't know if you should be pulling the wife card out right away, dude. That, that is not a good quality, so I'm just gonna juicy up. I'm sorry, I know I'm being kind of an asshole here, but I gotta feed my family too. That's the only reason why I'm working at this dump. But yeah, guys, I'm hoping I'm not the only one here saying this or thinking it, but do these guys already kind of look like they're meant to be put in cans? I mean, just look at that thing's head. I mean, it's already a cylinder kind of shape. I mean, all I have to do is just detach it from its body and jam it in a can and I can go home and feed my kids. It's kind of like these things were already meant to die. It's, it's really weird. I mean... By the game's logic, it sounds like this just suddenly happened one day, but it seems like these guys were made to die beforehand because they're already the right shape and everything for the can in the background there, which is really weird. But yeah, I'm already down like three guys, so how about I just get back to actually reading what these guys have to say? And well, yeah, I have ideas and I'm smart. I don't know if that's a very good and logical, um thing to say for me to free you and by the way why can't they talk i mean why are they writing out the messages on the board like did we cut their tongues off before they got sent here or did they like just like take a vow of silence and if they talk they just instantly die i really want to know but i kind of want to set you free probably the wrong choice he didn't really seem too smart and he didn't really seem too great with ideas i mean if he had an idea he probably would have ran but yeah whatever um i'm not well educated well at least you're being honest go get an education and maybe come back i don't know population report one of three creativity very high intelligence low happiness high well at least I got a good outcome of everything if you think about it. I mean, a lot of people left here happy. And oh yeah, guys, forgive me for the random jump cut here, but this needs to be said before I forget it. Doesn't this game remind any of you of the game called Abe's Odd World Munchies? I mean, in a very weird way, this game reminds me of that game so freaking much, except in this one we get to kill them instead of like trying to save them all or something like that. But yeah, anyway, it doesn't look like it did too good this round, but it looks like there's also another, um, report here I have to get to, maybe. If the game didn't freeze, it doesn't seem like I can just start the game over. Or maybe that is all of the report. Do I just close the game and restart? This is a bit weird. At least give me some instructions, game, please. I'm not social. Well... Neither am I, buddy, but I'm still productive, and I hope you are too, because I'm gonna set you free. And I hope that's the right thing to do. I can't really tell with any of these, because they don't really, like, tell me for what qualities they want. Do they want a hard worker, or do they want somebody that's gonna slack off and, well, try to, like, maybe plummet it, civilization into idiocracy or whatever it's called. But yeah, I'm working at getting power. 
Well, I don't like you. I don't like people that try to work for power. I like for people that try to work for power to benefit other people without power, you know? If he were to have said that, he would have been good to go in my books, but nope. Just because he's being an asshole, he's gonna get juiced. That's oddly not true considering you're here now and it's my decision whether you live or whether you die. I mean, he seems like he would be a good worker. He got a farm. He can feed the people that are on the planet right now with the overpopulation thing going on apparently in this world. So I kind of want to leave him live for that fact, but for the other fact that he says he's that he's going to live a long life. I kind of want to juice him because it seems like a really selfish thing to say, you know? It's like, hey, I'm going to live a long life. You can all die. I'm going to live it out on my farm and live a life of luxury or whatever. Um, I have a farm and I am introverted. Ain't that when you're all to yourself? Oh, they're trying to mess me up. The other guy was good. You're the bad one, am I right? You're the one that does not want to share the food, but the guy that wants to keep it all to himself, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to juice two farmers, because we need farmers in this world. At least I think. I mean, I don't even know if we need farmers in this world. I just know we're suffering from overpopulation, and that kind of seems like a positive to have more food in that situation. Well... The same could be said the opposite way, I guess. I mean, less food would, like, diminish the population, resulting in goodness, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I have money and I am resourceful. Well, you're being juiced. You're kind of an asshole. Actually, wait a minute. I'm resourceful. I can't tell if resourceful would have been good for everyone or just him. It's so hard to tell with these, and also, guys, forgive me if I keep saying whatever, so, or, you know, basically any of the words that I end up always repeating. This just happens to be one of them games where nothing much is happening, and I end up, like, saying those words a lot, and by the time I edit this, and I'm like, oh, crap, I said that way too many times. I can already pick it out now that I'm saying it too much. So, just forgive me, this will be the last round of the game, then I'm gonna leave the video off here and not let you guys suffer through it any longer, but... Yeah, guys, um, I have riches and I am stubborn. Go into the juicer, bro, you're not helpful. I kinda wish that maybe if you got the ultimate ending or the best outcome, you know, the set outcome, that maybe you got a reward or a promotion, or maybe you got to see the world for what it was right now, you know? Now that'd be pretty cool, like it needs a lot more work, but this could be a really good game. And you know what else would be cool? Like if you were to beat the game, like at the end of the game it would say whether you should be juiced or set free, because if you think about it, you're the only person left in the world with unredeeming qualities, all you did was kill people, and in a world where they're trying to diminish overpopulation and or badness like I'd be the only guy left that's bad so in the end I kind of wish this game would have that kind of an ending to it you know once you get the perfect ending you it was like your turn to get chosen whether you should live or die by somebody else like another player online or something that makes that makes some good gameplay I'm not gonna lie but yeah, guys, I think this will be the last um, wave, like I said. And with that said, I hope you guys can forgive me for the video for being all over the place. It's just, tonight's not a good night to record, so yeah, I'm sorry if this is all over the place. And well, this looks like he may be the last guy. If I counted right from the other few levels, this should be the last guy or second to last. Um... So yeah, let's just get him out of the way and see what we get. I am working at getting a nice house. Well, that'd be a good thing, but is it benef benefiting everybody else, you know what I mean? Like, is he getting a house so that people can all live there with him? Or is he getting it just for himself? That's the question, you know? It's like, there needs to be an in-between button, like, come back later. Because I can't really decide. So far, I've been just juicing everybody you know this whole round i think i'm not an atheist well i got rid of the guy that was all about religion so how about we get rid of the guy that's an atheist too i mean might as well be equal with this game um 
I am, I'm not malnourished. How does that benefit or not benefit people that he's malnourished? I mean, if he's almost dead, why is he here? Why do I have to choose whether he dies now or later? Like, with all honesty, I just let this poor guy live. I mean, he doesn't have long anyway if he's starving to death. But yeah, I'm gonna juice you, why not? Creativity average, intelligence average, happiness low. Sounds just like my life in a nutshell, but you know what guys, I'm gonna leave this off here. Um, Forgive me if this was all over the place, and well, I guess actually I'll do one more thing before I finish the outro here. I'm gonna actually check what is this place, and maybe I'll get like another story? Or, oh, I'll just get the intro all over again, really? Well, that's still pretty cool if you think about it. I mean, not many of these kind of like shorts, cute little um, games about death let you like replay the story to it. So I'll give them points for that. But you know what, guys? Like, like what I was saying, I'm going to leave this video off here. But if you wish to see any more of this or if the game actually ever gets... um updated I'll gladly come back to this because I honestly had a lot of fun playing this even though I couldn't really like talk or commentate on it you know there just wasn't a whole lot going on it's just one of them kind of games in which you get in and just kill time and that's exactly what I did tonight and well I still hope you guys all enjoyed the video and what that said I'm gonna leave this off here DTPK signing off peace come on come on you're fine no, lady! I was only trying to all kinds of various devices, but for the most part, guys, um, this will take...